Saimir Baisal Woods. Seemir. Born July 31, 1995. Known professionally as Lil Uzi Vert. Is an American rapper and singer. Woods is characterized by their facial tattoos, facial piercings, eccentric hairstyles and androgynous fashion. Imagery built on a melodic emo approach to trap. Born and raised in Philadelphia. Lil Uzi Vert gained initial recognition following the release of the commercial mixtape Love Is Rage. 2015. Which led to a recording contract with Atlantic Records. To whom they signed under DJ Drama's Generation Now imprint, Lil Uzi Vert attracted mainstream attention following the release of their debut single, Money Longer, in 2016. The song would act as the lead single for the subsequent mixtape Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World, 2016, which also contained the song, You Was Right. After releasing two additional mixtapes in 2016 and 2017, including one in collaboration with Gucci Mane, Lil Uzi Vert was featured on the Billboard Hot 100 chart topping Migos' single, Bad and Bougie. They later secured their first top 10 single with, EXO Tour Leaf 3, which won the MTV Video Music Award for Song of Summer. EXO Tour Leaf 3 Inches acted as the lead single to Lil Uzi Vert's debut studio album Love Is Rage 2. 2017. Which debuted at number 1 on the Billboard 200. And was certified double platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. RIAA. At the 2018 Grammy Awards. Lil Uzi Vert was nominated for Best New Artist their second studio album. Eternal A Take. 2020. Was among the most anticipated albums in contemporary trap and rap when it was finally released. Following years worth of delays. Eternal A Take. Much like Love Is Rage 2. Debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. Early Life. Saimir Woods was born July 31, 1995, in North Philadelphia's Francisville neighborhood. They grew up listening to Mike Jones and Ying Yang Twins. Jones' debut album was the first album they purchased. Woods later began listening to Wiz Khalifa and Meek Mill, who influenced their future style. They also began listening to Marilyn Manson, Paramore. Smash Mouth, The Rocket Summer, Simeon, My Chemical Romance, and The All-American Rejects when they were 13 years old, and have said they are a big Marilyn Manson fan, and called Mechanical Animals their favorite album. Woods began rapping in 10th grade, calling themselves a regular kid. I didn't really want to rap. After hearing classmate William Aston freestyle over a remade Chris Brown instrumental. Woods. Aston and another friend created a rap group. Staketown. Which broke up when Woods was 17. Woods dropped out of school and soon started working at a bottom. Dollar store. But they quit after four days and were kicked out of their home by their mother. The situation led to Woods getting their first face tattoo. The word, faith, under their hairline. Which provoked him to take their rap career seriously. In July 2021. Woods revealed on a tweet that their birth certificate shows they were born in 1995. After erroneously believing they were born one year earlier. Career. 2010 to 2015. Career beginnings. Woods began to rap in 2010 and began to associate with musical groups like Staketown and in what they say was just for money under the name Celeb Vertical. They later changed their name to Lil Uzi Vert from the way someone described their rap flow, saying their flow was fast, like a machine gun. Woods' first project, an EP titled Purple Thoughts Volume. One was released on January 19, 2014. The Project. 
which was described as funk, and having cloud rap beats from The Guardian due to its psychedelic and trippy production features Woods with a bigger focus on lyricism than most of their career, and was released with the single White Shit, which included a video. The track, which was produced by Space Ghost Perp, went viral in 2017 within hip hop circles following Woods' entry into the mainstream. Shortly after the release of Purple Thoughts Vol. 1, Woods caught the attention of then industry mainstays like the ASAP Mob, The Project, and following. Features caught the attention of producer and Def Jam A and R Don Cannon after DJ Diamond Kurtz played one of Woods' songs on a local radio station, who signed Woods to their The Academy imprint and produced their first mixtape, The Real Uzi, which was released on August 5, 2014. After the release of The Real Uzi, Woods signed a record deal with Atlantic Records through DJ Drama, Don Cannon's and Leighton Morrison's imprint, Generation Now, following their signing to Atlantic Records. Woods was featured alongside Rich the Kid and ASAP Ferg on Carnage's single WDYW. They also released several songs on SoundCloud including the Metro Boomin produced No Wait. Pressure, which is a collaboration with Lil Durk and Dej Loaf. They were featured on Fall Out Boy and Wiz Khalifa's Boys of Zummer tour in August 2015. Woods released their second mixtape, Love is Rage on October 30, 2015. The Project, which features production from then bubbling producers such as Sunny Digital. TM88 and Marley Raw with features from Billboard charting rappers such as Wiz Khalifa and Young Thug was received positively and was featured on numerous music blogs such as Fader, XXL and Vibe. They were further called a breakout artist of 2015 by Hot New Hip Hop. 2016 Breakthrough In January 2016 Lil Uzi appeared at an ASAP Mob show in New York City to honor the deceased ASAP Yams in February. They released the single, Money Longer, on their SoundCloud following a radio debut on Shade 45. Controversy arose in March 2016 after a riot broke out at SXSW's final day during Woods' set. On April 15, 2016. Uzi released their third mixtape and first commercial mixtape Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World. The mixtape debuted at number 37 on the Billboard 200 chart, making its Woods' first entry on the chart. The project spent 55 weeks on the Billboard 200 album chart, eventually being certified gold. Woods and Kodak Black embarked on a joint tour in May 2016, titled the Parental Advisory Tour, in June 2016. Lil Uzi Vert appeared in XXL magazine as part of their 2016 freshman class. As part of this appearance, Uzi performed a freshman cipher alongside Denzel Curry, Lil Yakti, 21 Savage and Kodak Black. As of December 2021, this cipher has received over 195 million YouTube views. By far the most for the XXL channel. Riding the wave of recognition the XXL freshman list gave them. Woods released the video for the single, Money Longer, which debuted on the Billboard Hot 100 the following week. Their first entry on the chart. At number 92 on July 2, 2016. The song later peaked at number 54 and is currently certified two times platinum in the United States. Woods' second entry on the chart. Metro Boomin produced, You Was Right, debuted at 89 on July 30, 2016 and peaked at number 40. On July 12, 2016, Woods announced their fourth mixtape, 
The Perfect Love Tape, which was released on July 31. Their 22nd birthday. The mixtape featured the singles 7 Million, featuring Future, and Erase Your Social, both of which failed to chart on the Billboard Hot 100. The mixtape debuted at number 55 on the Billboard 200 album chart and is certified gold by the RIAA. In October 2016, Woods was announced to be an additional artist on Canadian singer The Weeknd's tour. Woods announced a collaboration mixtape with Gucci Mane which was released on November 23, 2016. On the 27th, Woods announced Love is Rage 2 which eventually went through a series of delays. 2017. Love is Rage 2. Uzi featured on the hip-hop trio Migos single, Bad and Bougie. The single was released on October 28, 2016, and is from the trio's second studio album, Culture, 2017. In January 2017, around the time the album released, the single peaked atop the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Becoming Uzi's first number one single as a lead or featured artist. And their highest charting single is both. On February 27, 2017, Woods released the EP Love is Rage 1.5 while on tour with The Weeknd. The EP was positively received for its nerdy nature with Kingdom Hearts themed instrumentals and lyrics referring to anime. Steven Universe and Hentai. The EP was also credited as the start of Woods' affiliation with the emo rapper label due to the heartbreak associated lyrics on the song, Love Scars KO 1600, and references to threats of suicide and depression on the standout track, Exo Tour Leaf 3, Exo Tour Leaf 3's significant popularity on. SoundCloud resulted in Woods playing it live on the European leg of the Weekend's tour and the following week the song was added to streaming services and released as an official single. On April 4, 2017, Exo Tour Leaf 3 Inches debuted on Billboard Hot 100 at number 49 and peaked at number 7, becoming the rapper's highest charting song and biggest song being certified six times platinum as of August 2018. Love is Rage 2 was delayed again on April 2, 2017 with Woods blaming it on DJ Drama. On April 9, Don Cannon confirmed the project wasn't getting released anytime soon, and confirmed that XO Tour Leaf 3 Inches would be on the album. Uzi was featured on fellow rapper Playboy Carti's single, Woke Up Like This. It was released on April 7, 2017, and is from Carti's debut commercial mixtape, Playboy Carti, 2017. The single was performed by the pair at Coachella 2017. Woke Up Like This was eventually certified. Platinum and peaked at number 76 on the Billboard Hot 100. Uzi was featured alongside ASAP Rocky. Playboy Carti. Quavo and Frank Ocean on ASAP Rapper's collective ASAP Mob single, Raf. The single was released by surprise on May 15, 2017 and is from the collective's second studio album. Cozy Tapes Volume. Too. Too cozy. In early August, hip-hop media personality DJ Academics claimed that Love is Rage 2 would release within 30 days. On August 24, 2017, Love is Rage 2 was announced for a surprise release at midnight and on August 25, 2017, Lil Uzi Vert released their heavily delayed debut studio album. Love is Rage 2, which included top 10 single. Exo Tour Leaf 3 Inches is the lead single. The album debuted at number 1 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart.
with 135,000 album equivalent units and has since been certified platinum. The album also created 10 Billboard Hot 100 charting singles. With two, The Way Life Goes, featuring O oh Wonder, and Source It Up, becoming singles. During British singer Ed Sheeran's set at the Video Music Awards, Woods and Sheeran performed a medley of Exo Tour Leaf 3 and Sheeran's chart topping single, Shape of You, in September 2017. Woods teased a possible sequel project to Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World possibly titled Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World 2 and a collaboration project with Playboy Carti titled 16 Asterisk 29. In October, a joint tour with Playboy Carti called the 16 Asterisk 29 tour was announced further promoting the possibility of a collaboration project. The tour was cancelled shortly thereafter due to Woods claiming they needed to focus. In October 2017, Woods headlined Power 105, One's annual powerhouse music celebration. Alongside The Weeknd, Migos, and Cardi B. At the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Woods was also featured on Canadian rapper Nav's platinum certified single, Wanted You. The song was released on November 3, 2017, Nav's 28th birthday, and is from Nav's debut studio album, Reckless, 2018. On December 4, 2017, The Way Life Goes, music video was released with a remix. Featuring Trinidadian American rapper Nicki Minaj. The song subsequently peaked at number 24 on the Billboard Hot 100. Woods performed on Stephen Colbert's The Late Show performing The Way Life Goes on February 6. 2018 Uzi was featured alongside Kanye West on Travis Scott's song. Watch. Which was released on May 3. 2018. Watch debuted at number 16 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. They were also featured on a remix for fellow rapper Lil Tracy's single, Like a Farmer. 2018-2020, Eternal A Take. Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World 2. And Pluto X Baby Pluto. In January 2018. Uzi announced that they had completed a mixtape with record producer Wheezy. In May 2018, Don Cannon confirmed that a new Uzi project was dropping in 2018 and speculation arose in July 2018. When Woods tweeted the words, Eternal A Take, their second studio album, 2020, pinning the tweet and announcing it was, coming soon, and then at the end of the month sharing their then-chosen cover art for the project. The then-chosen cover art for Eternal A Take references the logo of the cult Heaven's Gate. The two members who survived the cult suggested that legal actions could be taken against Uzi for copying the logo style. The art was the source of a threat from the two remaining members of the organization over legal attack. The then thought lead single from Eternal A Take, New Partek, was released on September 18, 2018. Uzi was then featured on Lil Pump's single, Multi Millionaire. The single was released on October 5, 2018, and is from Pump's second studio album, Harvard Dropout, in April 2019. Following label trouble with Generation Now. It was announced that Uzi was now signed to Rock Nation. Two new promotional singles were released in April 2019. Titled, Sanguine Paradise, and, That's a Rack. Originally thought to be from their highly anticipated studio album, Eternal A Take. On December 13, 2019, Uzi released a new single titled, Futsal Shuffle 2020 which is the lead single of Eternal A Take. They then released the second single of the album, titled, That Way, on March 1, 
2020. Eternal Attack was released on March 6, 2020, with a sole guest appearance from American singer Sid. The release date of the album was a week earlier than fans expected it to release. New Partek, That's a Rack, and Sanguine Paradise did not appear on the album. Eternal Attack debuted atop the Billboard 200 on March 12, 2020. Lil Uzi teased that the deluxe version of Eternal Attack and the sequel to their July 2016 mixtape. Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World, titled Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World 2, would release the following day. The date fans expected the release date of the original album. The deluxe edition would have 14 new tracks. Featuring guest appearances from Chief Keef, 21 Savage, Future, Young Thug, Gunna, Lil Durk, Young Nudie and Nav. The first half of the album maintained a leading number one position. Equal to 288,000 album sales in the United States. With 400 million streams in early 2020. During the COVID-19 pandemic. This marked the largest streaming count for any album since 2018 when Lil Wayne's 12th studio album, Tar Carter 5, got 433 million streams on April 24, 2020. Lil Uzi Vert released a new single titled, Sasuke. The first since the release of the deluxe version of Eternal Attack. On July 10, 2020. Lil Uzi appeared on the remix of Stay Solid Rocky's Party Girl. On July 21, 2020, Lil Uzi and Future hinted at an upcoming joint project titled Pluto X Baby Pluto on their social media. The two later released two new singles, Partek, and Over Your Head, on July 31, which was Uzi's 26th birthday. Pluto X Baby Pluto was released on November 13, 2020 and peaked at number 2 on the Billboard 200. A deluxe version containing the two previously released singles as well as six new tracks was released four days later on November 17, 2021 present. Pink Tape. In late 2020. Lil Uzi Vert began promoting new singles on Instagram Live that were sonically similar to popular releases early in their career. They subsequently announced an upcoming project titled Forever Young, as well as a follow-up to Love is Rage 2 and a project to be released exclusively on SoundCloud. On October 29, 2021, Lil Uzi Vert released the single Demon High which is expected to be the lead single to their upcoming album Pink Tape, which they have been teasing to their fans since December 2020. They then announced on July 12, 2022, that they will be releasing an EP titled Red and White which will release before the release of the Pink Tape musical style complex called Uzi one of those names to pay attention to in 2016. And Spin wrote, the 22-year-old has solidified. There. Spot is one to watch, with the signature rapid delivery. Noisy called them, articularly. Charismatic. A natural entertainer, who is, for better or for worse. Yanking people into the future. Lil Uzi Vert's style of rap has been compared to rock music, as well as being labeled with the terms emo rap and punk rap. They have also been described as a lo-fi rapper and compared to rapper Lil Wayne. Influences. Lil Uzi Vert calls Marilyn Manson the greatest inspiration. They are also a fan of the band Paramore. Specifically citing frontwoman Hayley Williams as an influence. In an interview with Complex, Lil Uzi Vert cited ASAP Rocky, for whom they featured on Raf. Pharrell Williams.
with whom they collaborated on Neon Guts, Kanye West, with whom they featured on Watch, Simple Plan, Young Thug, with whom they collaborated on Yamborghini Dream, What's the Move, and Strawberry Peels, Wiz Khalifa, with whom they collaborated on Kesso and Pull Up, Lil Wayne, for whom they featured on Multiple Flows and the Ying Yang Twins' influences. Personal life. Woods was in a relationship with fashion designer Brittany Bird from 2014 to 2017. Bird moved from California to attend the Parsons School of Design, where she was studying when she met Woods. Woods first referenced Bird in their song, New York Nights at 21 Inches from Love is Rage and later made multiple other songs about her. A popular figure among Woods fans. She also appeared in the music video for Woods' breakout single, Money Longer. On June 26, 2017, Woods and Bird broke up, which Woods announced with a song titled, Stole Your Love. Since 2019, Woods has been in a relationship with JT of the hip-hop duo City Girls, in an interview with GQ. Woods stated that they are allergic to chocolate, following the death of rapper Lil Peep from an accidental fentanyl overdose. Woods announced they were quitting drugs and attempting sobriety, after the killing of Woods's friend. Rapper and singer XXXTentacion. Woods asked for help on social media from other rappers to build a foundation against gun violence, which would keep XXTentacion's family and his future child provided for, in July 2022. Woods changed their pronouns to they, them on Instagram, but has made no official announcement about identifying as non-binary. Forehead Diamond. In February 2021, Woods revealed that they had a 10-carat pink diamond implanted in their forehead, which they had planned to do since 2017. They acquired the diamond, whose value was reported as $24 million. From jeweler Elliot Alliant, Woods stated that the decision was influenced by the cartoon Steven Universe, of which they are openly a fan, and by fellow rapper Lil B who has a similar implant. Woods said that they could die if their diamond is not removed the right way. In June of the same year, they had the diamond removed from their forehead. They had it re-implanted for their performance at Rolling Loud the following month and revealed in September that fans ripped it out while Woods was crowd surfing at that event. They did not suffer serious damage and said that they still have the diamond. They have since replaced it with a barbell piercing. The implant spawned several internet memes. Comparing Wood's new appearance to that of Vision in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and often referring to the character's death in the film Avengers. Infinity War. Controversies. Woods has been accused of being a Satanist. Originally by battle rapper Daylit who claimed that Woods worshipped Satan. Woods has been said to be inspired by Marilyn Manson's worship and support of Satan. Who they called their biggest inspiration. In July 2018, Woods told a crowd of fans that they were going to hell, with them. In August 2017. Woods created controversy by adding satanic imagery to their social media accounts and saying phrases often associated with Satanism such as 666. Woods frequently promotes Satanism on their social media, which went far enough to warrant their Instagram access being taken from them by their record label. Feuds Woods has had a long-standing standstill with Generation Now imprint owners Don Cannon and DJ. Drama over their music. Woods has insulted Don Cannon and DJ Drama over the delays to their Love is Rage 2 album.
advised people against signing with Generation Now and referred to DJ Drama as an old person. On April 29, 2016, Atlanta rapper Og Mako went on a rant on social media where they claim that they paved the way for Woods and that Woods was stealing their source. Referring to their style, Mako implied there was no issue between Woods and them though Woods took offense to Mako's comment. Who mentioned Atlanta rapper Reese LaFleur who Woods was feuding with. In August 2016, Woods attempted to assault Reese LaFleur at Day and Night Fest after seeing them through a security barrier. Though they were stopped by security. In September 2016. Og Mako and Woods resolved their feud. In January 2018, Woods punched Reese LaFleur in the face and bragged about it on social media. Later deleting the tweet. In early 2018, Woods had tweeted about how they were unhappy at DJ Drama's label. Generation Now. In response, fellow rapper Rich the Kid had replied saying that had Woods signed to their label. Rich Forever Music. They would have never had that problem. Woods responded by saying, Boy I'm not signing for 20 racks. $20,000. Dot quote. Rich then replied that it would have been worth accepting the offer either way. Soon enough. Things escalated with disses on Instagram and Twitter between the two. In March 2018. Rich the Kid released a diss track on Woods. Titled, Dead Friends. A play on words of Woods's catchphrase in their hit single. Exo Tour Leaf 3. An incident occurred in June 2018 at a Starbucks between Rich the Kid and Lil Uzi Vert. Who attempted to attack Rich the Kid but was stopped by security. Legal Issues. 2016 to 2020 Arrests. On December 8, 2016, Woods was arrested in Atlanta, Georgia for recklessly driving a dirt bike. Woods and a friend were driving a dirt bike without lights and helmets before being noticed by police. While being chased by the police, Woods fell off their dirt bike and attempted to run away on foot before being caught and held on. $6,500 bond. In November 2017, the charge was resolved with Woods receiving a community service sentence. In October 2020, Woods and several others were arrested in the streets of Philadelphia after being involved in a paintball gunfight. They were caught after sharing a video of the dispute on Instagram. 2021 Assault Charges On July 2, 2021 Woods and St. J.H.N. got into a confrontation after St. J.H.N. was spotted by Woods with their ex-girlfriend Brittany Bird. The confrontation led to a physical altercation between the two which resulted in Woods flashing a gun at the two, then holding the gun to their ex-girlfriend's stomach. It was reported that no one was harmed and everybody left the scene. On July 6, 2021. XXL reported that Woods allegedly hospitalized Bird by punching her in the face multiple times and put a gun to her stomach. Woods and their team did not respond to the claims made by Bird. On February 2, 2022, TMZ reported that Woods pleaded no contest in court to one count each of felony assault with a firearm and misdemeanor injury. They later accepted a plea deal for a sentence of three years of formal probation. One year of treatment for mental health and substance abuse. 52 weeks of domestic violence counseling. Restitution and a 10-year criminal protective order. Discography. Studio albums. Love is Rage 2. 2017. Eternal A Take. 2020. Awards and nominations. See also. List of highest certified music artists in the United States. List of hip-hop musicians. Music of Philadelphia.
equals equals references equals equals